a government statistic. It's fun, isn't it? Oh no. What are you doing here? I want programming. But I don't know fourth. I don't know how to program you. You confuse me. I've never done fourth. I've never done page memory programming. How do you work? I'm confused. I'm confused. Ah! I hate it when that happens when you get so confused that your head blows up. Well, it doesn't happen often, but the paracetamol trademark does help when that happens. Another thing that the Phoenician, uh, which has taken me a while to understand, but I do now understand some of it, the basics of how to use it. Another thing that the Phoenician has um, uh, inspired me to do is to read this book, Practical Electronics Handbook which, being a government statistic, I got from the library. And it's, uh, ooh, look at this die. No, I better put that away. I think uh, one head explosion a day is enough. Anyway, back to the Phoenician. Uh, no, I'm not gonna look. Yes, uh, I've been experimenting with it, so I thought to do a little uh, video guide for you, those of you who come across it or already have it. Uh, we're going to be looking at the keyboard, which isn't too difficult, but some people uh, may need a little bit of hand help with it. We're also going to be looking at uh, how to uh, put programs into it, how to load them back, and how to run them. I have a copy of Lunar Lander in there that's a bit buggy, so uh, don't expect anything glorious at the end because it's not going to work fully. But the concepts of how to uh, put the program in there, how to edit it, and how to load it back on can be uh, discovered by looking at it. And wondering. Let's just get on with it. No, it's a blank screen. Well, it is apart from the reflection of me in there. Nice reflection there. Right, the eye fig. Or fignition. I say eye fig then. I'll tell you why I said eye fig in a few moments. Well, here's the fignition. It's got its lead in. Now, the fignition comes with 8K of memory and 300 and something bits of flash RAM to store your programs in. Today I have collected, connected to this little CRT portable connected via uh, a SCART adapter which I've connected the phono lead in so I actually get a SCART. Nice steady SCART image. So, let's power up. And you'll see straight away you get a flash screen Fignition. And there we go. We're now in Fignition Niche whoops, Niche Machines 2010. Now there is one slight adaptation adaptation I've made to this when I use it myself. It's called the iFig. I just sellotaped it nice and gently. There you go. Nice fi iFig Mark 1. Another user-friendly product. I sell tape it nice and gently to this board. It stops it shorting out underneath or having to put it directly on the carpet, which is handy. Okay. Right, Bristol Fignition. First thing to know is that when, when you're programming this thing, it uses paged memory and each page of memory only has enough memory to store one screen of characters. An example of this, if I, whoop, sorry, just again. If I load up a screen, uh, for this we type in, uh, I've got some programs in there, so, oh, oh, uh, A, D, oh, no, sorry, uh, one space, L-O-A-D. That's the contents of uh, page one of the memory. It actually starts at page zero, but that's the contents of page one. And come up with an error there. Let's ignore that. That's a different thing. But it can only hold 
one screen of text. So if you're doing a long program, such as one that I've been doing here, Luna Lander from the website, we can't see that, but it has to be broken up into blocks and each of these has to be saved into a block of memory. So what you do is you have to go into the editor first. So if I, I'll show you stuff I've already edited. So if I go into, so that's keyboards go pain. So it's three, edit, edit. That's probably gonna come up now. Right, now try again. Three, space, ed, it. That's the contents of page three, and that's how you get in to that page. You edit three, edit goes into that page. You can then use uh, the keyboard up, down, right, left, and edit away. I'll show you a bit more about the keyboard in a bit, but uh, you can edit away. Then, once the screen's full with the procedure you want in it, you've got to save it. And then to use the editor commands, you have to press up. Oh, sorry, hit the wrong hit the back of the crystal. Then you have to press up and down, uh, a capital W. Yeah, capital W, and that actually means it's saved. No, you're probably not understanding half of this, but there you go. So basically, you have to edit each page and then save the page, and then you go on to the next page. Edit it, save it, edit, save, edit, save, send it, save. For a program like Kaloon Land, are you talking about oh, eight, nine pages of this? So then, after you've done that, nice flickering at the moment because it's full of stuff, you've got to load it all back in. If you've got an error on a page, sometimes you can go in, edit the error, it'll tell you about the error at the bottom, you can go in, edit the area, come and save it, then reload the page and it's fine. Other times you have to reload the entire lot, which is fun. So, what I'm going to do now, show you how to load a program you've already put in. Okay, now the program I'm going to show you, I've changed my mind, I'm going to show you the circle program. Because that just works. Nothing glorious, but it works. And that's the important thing. So I've got three pages of information to load. So I'm just going to reset the camera. So, let's run out. Right, so, I've got three pages to load. So, if I go, where's my. Uh, where's my key? Ah, there we go. That's the keyboard layout. You do need to use this picture of the keyboard layout when you're using it. Yes, uh, you're a school, basically. Right. So zero, I need to load page zero, it's in there. O, A, D, whoops, load. Right, that's page zero loaded, press is OK to say there's no errors, page zero. You can then load page one. There's uh, one space, uh, O, O, A, D. And just a quick mention in case you hadn't really realised, this is the fourth. This is language called fourth, which I know very little about, so I ain't going to even try to explain it. Uh, L -L -A -D. And I think that's the entire program loaded in. So, the program's loaded three pages of it. What we do now, I'm going to clear the screen to make life simple. L -L -C -L. Yes. There you go. Nice clear screen. Now, because this is a circle drawing program, you have to put the parameters in. So we're going to go with pen number one. Um, pen. Uh, a few numbers here. This is for circumference, etc. There's 20. Oh, poo. Misspelled pen. And wifey's coming up the stairs. 
Hello Rosie, uh, one pen, uh, 21, I suppose, 2, 24, oh where's he got T, hang on, I suppose, 20, hang on, just going to have to take a break here to receive my T, T, oh first T, back away fee. you're welcome, and now the dog's coming in as well, hello Amy, Hey, Dum Dum. Hello, Dum. Say hello to Dum Dum. Hello, Dum Dum. Right. Anyway, let's carry on. Where were we? Uh, right. Uh, Twenty, and then the command, which is the name of the program. Uh, C E G H L Y I. Yes, as you can tell, typing into this thing is a slow slow process but fun in a geeky way so there we go loaded in the three pages of the program run it now other programs like lander you don't need to feed parameters in so you just circ or lander with that is good enough and that will get your program running on the ignition Stating up graphics here. I'm going to put some more programs into this. I've got the lander in, but it's buggy, so I don't want to show that really. Now, one last thing to quickly demonstrate the keyboard. Not the most obvious keyboard in the world. It's got one, two, three, four, uh, four, eight buttons. Yes, eight buttons. So you have to use the keys which are on the website. Uh, so you can see. That on their own, the buttons go up, down, left, right, enter, delete, and shift. Now you get the letters by using combinations. So for an A, you see here, you press down key three. There. And hold down the top left hand one. So if I do that, uh, come here. Doing, doing. There's an A. For the shift button, that teaches suck eggs here, but maybe not. Uh, there's the shifted table here, and you hit the shift button once, and then follow out the same combination, and you get uppercase. So that's how you use the keyboard. Uh, anything else to show you on this at the moment? No, but it works bloody lovely. It's great, good fun. If a bit tedious of putting programs in now and again, uh, yes enjoying it and uh, look forward to any future prospects or extensions that they bring to this so uh, that's my quick guide to using it got any questions as usual just ask and uh yes life just gets geekier doesn't it <laughs>